Just sent everybody off to daycare. Um, probably gonna grab a quick buy of breakfast really quick, and then today's Wednesday. Wednesday, I always try to work on my bookkeeping, so we'll get some of that done. Get a few, we only had I think I think three things sold, but I think one of them hasn't been paid for from yesterday. So we'll package up a couple of things for the post office, and then. I might go to Goodwill, be there at 10 when they open, um, or I might not. I'm not sure yet. Either way, today's main focus is going to be working on that death pile. That really needs to get some serious work done. So that's going to be the main focus. Stick with me. We'll see whether or not we want to go by Goodwill real quick. If we do, it'll just be the one. Catch them when they open and then get back here and get to work. All right. See you soon. All right, so I thought today might be uh, a good chance to just kind of give you all a little insight on how I go when it gets time to package these things up. Um, probably not too awful different than anybody else does it, but I haven't showed you all my side of it yet. So today I got an order for WWE 12, which was right over here on this shelf. Um, I pulled it out from right here. That's where I keep my games. And then you know down here, I got some empty cases and stuff. And then I also sold this Mike Wazowski plush from Monsters, Inc., which I keep in my tote that I keep all of my plush in, which I keep out in the garage. Um, I have a tote here that I keep some of my shoes in, not all of them. And then there's a tote full of plush there. It's just, I figured getting these bigger ones, especially with the plush, is a lot easier um, than trying to keep them throwing in all these random totes and small boxes. Uh, when it comes to packing, uh, with WWE 12, with any of my games or movies, I usually take uh, paper towel. Some people use, you know, bubble wrap or whatever, just to keep the disc in there. You know, you don't hear it rattling around as much. And I'll throw it in that bubble mailer. And then with my plush, I like to throw them in a clear poly bag. Just for additional protection, you know, make sure that it gets to the buyer uh, in good condition. And then I'll throw it in this poly mailer. I believe WWE 12 sold for 12 plus shipping. Um, and then Mike Wazowski, I, I just took a deal on him for, I believe it was $8 plus shipping. So yesterday was not great as far as my total profit. I had a pair of shoes that sold, but they have not been paid for yet. Um, I'll give them a day or an another day or so, and then I'll send a message requesting them to pay. And usually after four or five days, I think I, f I have to wait four per eBay before I can cancel it. But usually I, I try to give them four or five and then I'll cancel it and relist it. Uh, cases like this where it hasn't been paid for, I, I don't take it down from the cross postings. So it's still on Poshmark. It's on Mercari. It's on Facebook. Um, it's just not available on eBay until he pays. Hopefully, pays soon, and I'll take it. I'll take it down off of all the you know cross-posted sites. But um, it was a pair of shoes. It was some um, Nike Paul George something or another. They were black and white, I believe. And I want to say that they sold for forty nine ninety nine. I think I had them at fifty nine ninety nine. He sent an offer, and I was like, you know, I'll just I'll take it. I paid probably between five and ten dollars for them 12 at the most i would say so it was a good it was a good sell um if i got paid for that i'd be making <clears throat> around 70 bucks you know before fees and everything which not up to my standard you know what i'd like to get but uh, i take everything i can and we'll uh we'll get this done and i think i am going to go ahead and head up to goodwill and try to catch it at open and then we'll get back here and get to work on all of this <clears throat> main focus is today is going to be the red bag the box of stuff and that ikea bag of stuff from yesterday uh i will get to these wrestling dvds there's lots in there that are very profitable it's just a lot to work on uh, and it takes up less room than all this stuff and then i also i have this box of stuff that if i can i'll get to and then over here's a whole bunch of shoes and some very profitable ones. Uh, I have to get them put through check check. If everything comes back good with check check, uh, that would be great. So 
I think tomorrow or Friday, I'm going to try to get some of that stuff set in to check check so I can get it listed. But for today, we're going to get this stuff packed up and then we are going to hit Goodwill very quickly and then come back and focus on getting these three bags and boxes of stuff pictured, listed, and cross posted. I will see y'all soon. I did forget there was actually a third item going out today. This is a North Face hat. Uh, or a ball cap uh, that sold for 15 plus shipping on e or I mean on Facebook and a good thing with Facebook is they only got 5% fees as opposed to 13 or 15 or 20 depending on where else it would have sold um, I got this all packaged up I will throw my packing label on it grab these other two throw on some decent clothes to go outside in and we will head that way all right well Goodwill was a bust. There wasn't really much there. Um, from here, I'm going to go get some gas and head on home and start getting to work on that death pile. All right, so making pretty good progress on the pile early on, so nothing crazy. But I found where I have made a mistake. It does not happen very often. I bought this game on one of our earlier videos at a Goodwill. I always check the case, but apparently this time I did not. So I guess this will go into the empty case area over there. And hopefully one day we find it disc only. We're able to complete it and make a good sale out of it. Until then, I'm going to be enjoying the disc two of the Shirley Temple family collection. Let's move on to the next. All right, well, we are done with that. It is five o'clock. Um, I got quite a bit done. Um, I got the whole Ikea bag done. Everything that was in that box for the most part was done. Uh, I had a red bag full of stuff. If you remember, I got that done. In the box now, I have uh, just a few things. There's some PlayStation 2s and some Wii's in there that I need to test. But I can't do that yet. We bought this TV yesterday uh, for $10 at Goodwill. And I'm going to put it up here on the wall. And then, so I need to buy a wall mount for it. Uh, when we get that mounted, I will get those tested and listed. Uh, there's a few games in there that I'm just going to bundle. So I didn't list those. That movie needs to be tested, but I just haven't done that yet. I believe that's it. I did not do my bookkeeping yet. Uh, Wednesday is when I need to be doing my bookkeeping and I did not get to it. So that is a priority tomorrow. I have a couple pairs of shoes down there that I didn't list just because they need to be cleaned up. And I was just trying to get through a majority of my items without stopping and going upstairs to clean or test or anything like that. Uh, but I got quite a few items. I don't know how many. I didn't keep up with it, to be honest with you. However, instead of being done for the day, I actually had a Facebook Marketplace find. I'm going to go meet somebody here about 10 minutes away. I need to be there in about 15 minutes, so we're going to get that going. And I'm going to buy a Switch game and an accessory, which I will keep a surprise until I'm sure the next clip where you will see what we got. All right, guys. So if you look here, I got Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu with the Pokeball Plus that comes with it. Um, looking online, it looks like I can probably get uh, 70 or maybe even a little bit more for that. And I only had to pay 35. So I'm not sure if my plan is to sell the whole thing and make the profit um or if i want to sell let's go pikachu for probably like 35 plus shipping make my money back and keep the pokeball plus because i don't have it for myself uh and nintendo and pokemon in specific is something that i i do really enjoy collecting for so i'm not sure yet what my plan is with that but either way i believe it was a good purchase uh First Facebook buy I've had in a while. Not the best one, but 
hopefully that is the gateway to uh, bigger and better deals out there all right i think that's gonna be it for today um a little bit of sourcing mostly getting things out of the pile i did go back and count i got 39 things pictured probably about half of that actually listed and cross posted um i probably won't do any more listing tonight i'll probably just call it a day enjoy my evening tomorrow is thursday i will probably get up and do some stuff around the house in the morning and then i gotta pick the kids up from daycare tomorrow at five so maybe i'll go up to town a little early and hit some of the thrifts and stuff up there um I can't think of much else. At least, I mean, we got a Facebook by today. I'll definitely keep an eye on it. Hopefully, we get more moving forward. But uh, until next time, I still don't have a sign off.